Welcome back to the show. I'd just like to give some props to some of the local auto related businesses that deserve your support. Whippy Tire Store, not the biggest, just the best. Used Tire Specialists, the best little tire house in town. K&M, the car shop, used car sales. D&Z Auto Repair, that's General Mechanical and Rust Check. Jensen Auto Collision, quality auto body repair auto and motorcycle painting with the coin car wash. Uh, the, they're open uh, 24 hours, uh, multiple bays, so you'll probably always be able to get in. they got some awesome detail stations where you uh, can uh, do a little shampoo on the rug and maybe uh, get out some of those uh, cigarette burns and uh, coffee stains. Great place to clean your ride. The ultra experience, actually. Let's head back to the show. The 1959 Cadillac is known for bullet like tail likes and sharp tail fins and distinctive roof lines. Uh, engine output was an even 345 horsepower. Standard equipment with this car included power brakes, power steering, automatic transmission, backup lamps, windshield wipers, two-speed wipers, wheel disc, outside rear view mirror, vanity mirror, oil filter, power windows, six-way power seats, heater, fog lamps, remote control, deck lid, radio and antenna with rear speakers, power vent windows, air suspension, electric door locks, and license frames. The Monday and Saturday night cruise and car showcases will have you working up a thirst and good appetite. This is where the shake, rabble and roll menu comes to the rescue with a wide variety of generous portion of food selections that are reasonably priced and home cooked. You can wet your whistle with a fountain pop, fruit juice, milk or bottled water. There is a great variety of ice creams for dessert. This 1955 Chevrolet second series truck has an amazing body style. It sports a wraparound windshield. This classic truck has power steering, power brakes, a 12 volt electrical system, a 265 cubic inch V8 under the hood. Like a rock, Chevrolet class of 55. The Plymouth Duster was a semi-fastback version of the Plymouth Valiant automobile produced in the United States from 1970 to 1976. The design incorporated a semi-fastback roof and a special rear valance. The twin horizontal taillights had no bezel. The Duster was such a success for Plymouth that in 1971 Dodge requested and received their own version, the Demon. The origin of the term hot rod is unknown, but the expression became popular in the 1930s. Rods are typically US of A cars modified with a large engine for greater speed capacity. Roadsters are the choice of hot rodders because they are lightweight and can be easily customized and can often be purchased for a relatively low price. Thanks so much for watching the pilot episode and thanks to all our car stores. We all will be back real soon to showcase more of some of the finest automobiles you'll see on the planet. Johnny Canuckster Classic Automobile Television Showcase.